Hektik. It is a Music Friday, guys, and we are Kubedaring with that hashtag, hashtag Keep Calm 99 on Facebook and Twitter. We do want to know what are those songs that you listen to just to have your moments of zen and just to keep calm. Now, guys, we're still celebrating Disability Rights Awareness Month. I've got my gold little brooch right over here. Remember, guys, from the 3rd of November all the way to the 3rd of December, just reminding us to create awareness and be sensitive um, around people with disability, not only for this month, but forever and ever. Ever. Now today, guys, I'm joined by superstar extraordinaire, Mr. Katejo, my boy. Give it up, give it up. Yes. Good to be back. Good Welcome to, be back. to the it's show, man. And back. I always to get to interview you. I'm just like... Which I'm always pleased with because I love Mugimo your energy. is like, hey, girl. You know? Yes, I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> Taking me back to church right over there. Now, Katlako, welcome to the show. So many people see you on television. They see you on Strictly. They see you in the morning. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. see you all day or day. And they probably, hey, boy, this guy, we hear that he sings. But you're actually part of an a cappella group. Tell I was part of an a cappella group about called that. Flip a Coin. And this was in my varsity days. And it's actually how I found my way onto TV because as a result of us touring all over the country mm -hmm. and the name of the band growing, so too did my status, I guess, in entertainment. And that's how I found my way to my first audition. So it really, nice. really did a lot for me. And uh, I still miss it, you know, when I listen to the soil singing, I'm like, oh, uh, man, man, yeah. And you're like, because you can do a cappella, you're like, I, I don't need no instruments, y'all. No. <laughs> what, what was your role actually in the a cappella group? I was one of the tenors in the group, one of the soloist singers, and then also one of the beatboxers. So, so you can just on, take eh? it low. No, well, you know, sometimes when I need to just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, you know, I don't know. We just, you know, work okay, around it. Work that's around really it cool. Yeah. Now, today, it's all about hashtag Keep Calm 99. Yes. Throughout this week as well, how do you deal with the pressure of live television as well as a live audience, whether you're singing, whether you're presenting? I tell you how I do it, especially when I'm on Strictly Come Dancing and you mm -hmm. have a live audience of about 200, 300 people. Mm -hmm. I try to kind of let them into my mind. Okay. Because you, you get the feeling that those people that are sitting there watching you, let's say especially during an ad break, are just as awkward as you are. So the more you can let them have fun through you, through what you're doing, the more they can be comfortable around you. So you tell jokes, you dance, do silly things. It's all about that energy at it's the end of the day. It's all about that energy. So that's how I keep myself calm so that when the countdown comes, I'm ready for action. Last but not least, before you hit the stage for your performance, what is your secret to success and your secret to excellence? So many young people are out there, they're watching you like, oh man, I want to be just like cats. I've got so many visions and dreams for my life. How do they actually execute it? Now, firstly, those visions and dreams are very important to have. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's just consistent, consistent hard work and dedication to what you do. Never losing sight of what it is that bigger dream is and then being prepared every single day to wake up and be the best version of yourself that you can be that sure. in order to get you a step closer to that. That's very important. Be the best version of yourself. Hectic.